G'day, this is a video uh, to, on how to adjust the Woodway treadmill uh, incline. If you're having an issue where with a treadmill, if it won't turn off, or if you've gone into dynamic mode and it won't get out of dynamic mode, normally when you're in dynamic mode and the treadmill's on, you have to press the off button twice to get out of dynamic mode, and then you press the on button to turn it back on, and then do your speeds or do your incline. But if you're having a fault where if you're using the treadmill normally and then you press stop or turn it off and it won't turn off or if you go into dynamic mode and then it won't go out of dynamic mode usually the fault is that the actual incline is out of calibration and needs to be calibrated so to do this function what you need to do is you need to uh, with the screen turned off like this you need to press and hold the speed up and down buttons I press and hold them in and then press the on button why this is all all zeros so let me just try and do this here so if I hold those two press the on button it'll go into this uh, configuration mode here this is totally the software versions that it's at and then what it gives you straight away is it, it's telling you that Yes, the running belt is going at 0.0, .0 so it's not actually moving at all, which is great. But the incline here, you can see, is at 1.5, 1.6. It's, it's floating around there. What I've done for the purpose of this video is pull the side covers off already. Um, the incline motor is down on this left-hand side. This is the actual incline motor itself. Uh, and then there's connected by a chain and going through an axle that goes right through the machine to the other side. And, and runs the other incline uh, pillar block as well. So with this issue, we come around this right-hand side of the cover. Uh, you need some room, room on the side of the machine, so if, you, if you've got them tight, um, tight in pack together, you need to move the, your treadmill out of the lineup you've got, and then take both, um, well, just this right side cover off to do the incline calibration. And then from this wheel here, it might be difficult for me to show you this um, on the video is I've already loosened off the um, these two little screws here so if you undo these two little screws so you can lift this up get a better angle if I can lift this up and then I can turn it and if I turn it just a little bit and put it back down so it rests there then we go up to the screen and have a look see it's gone up to 3.5 so what you got to do, if I just turn that, so if I turn it back, lift it up and turn it back this way, but without turning this bottom one, you just want to turn the top one. So that's why I've loosened off those two nuts. It's gone back down to 1.6. So if I lift it up again, turn it again, put it down. Sometimes you'll hear the incline motor actually go, this treadmill is still powered up, but that's all fine. We're only playing with this cog here. And then up here, you can see now that it's at minus 0.1, which is actually okay. The tolerance for the incline setting is 0.3 of a degree um, in incline. So it can actually be up to minus 0.3 or uh, 0.3. So plus 0.3 or minus 0.3 but if we can try and get this right if I just move this back one more cog back that way see that's gone up to 0.3 and that was only actually one cog turn so it's quite um, it's quite temperamental Yeah, it looks like this one's going to have to sit at the uh, 0.1 setting because uh, that's close enough. Uh, so it can be uh, 0 minus 0.3, minus 0.2, minus 0.1. It can be 0, 0.0. Uh, it can be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 0 0.3, and that'll work, and you won't have an issue with incline. Um, so with this one, I'm leaving it there. So also when you go to tighten it up, if you push on the back of this bracket, 
and just make sure, hold that down while, while holding it down and look up and see if the number hasn't changed. Because sometimes when you push this bracket down, um, the, um, the number may change. So with these, just do up these cogs again. Are these um, nuts? Do them up fairly tight because there is a lot, a lot of uh, vibration with these uh, woodway treadmills. So um, make sure you lock those up tight, both of them. And see here now it's uh, still at minus 0 0.1, which is great. And then with these, what you normally have to do is you'll just turn it off at the power point and then turn it back on again. And then we'll find it'll work. We'll just pull it out of the power here. Let it turn off. Get it out of that uh, maintenance mode. Hit the on button. Uh, you can hear the incline just adjusting a bit, trying to find its spot. So it might do that three or four or five or six times there, like it just did then. And then it'll find its spot and that'll be fine. Uh, and then we can just go four incline, four speed, whatever you want. And then we can confirm that the track's going. The circuit board's liking it. And then around here, uh, we've got the incline is liking that and working as well. The machine's fairly level. You want to check the levelness of the machine, like the gap between here. Uh, check on another treadmill if you've got other treadmills. Check that the gap's about right so that the top of these machines, if you've got them side by side, uh, you can see these machines here. They've got a lot of machines in this gym. You can see they're all level uh, and, and at the same level, so we need to adjust them. So they're at the correct level zero, and so the clients get the most out of the machines. Um, so that's basically how you adjust the, or recalibrate the incline if you're having an issue where the console screen won't turn off. So here, if I just press off like that, just once, so it'll go down to zero. Um, like the belt will stop and the, the incline will go down to zero and then it turns off. Um, but other times, if it won't turn off or if you want to turn it off quickly, what you normally do is you hit it twice as well. So if you have it on and you've got the incline one, two or three or whatnot, if you want to turn it off quickly, just hit the butt off button twice and then it'll slow down to a stop and turn off the screen. But for this fault, is if you go to press the off button and the screen doesn't turn off and it stays on, or if you go in dynamic mode and then you're pressing off button and it won't go out of dynamic mode, or even if you plug it out of the power point in the wall uh, and plug it back in again, and it's still, you, you turn it on, you run it, and then you go to press stop or you go in dynamic mode and then you can't get out of dynamic mode or it's still in dynamic mode, that the fault there is the fact that the incline is out of calibration and needs to be calibrated. So you need to go through that, holding these two down and press the on button whilst holding the speed uh, up and down buttons, hold them both down and then press the on button while the screen's off, you get into the, into the maintenance mode. It'll, it'll show you the software, it'll go straight to that setting. The speed obviously always usually says 0.0, .0 uh, but you can do a belt creep um, adjust as well. So that might say 0 0.1 or 0 0.2. Uh, I do have another video on how to adjust belt creep, so look that up. Uh, but this video is more about the incline. So on this particular one, I think it was, what was it, 1.2, 1.5 or something like that, um, incline, because that was already out of calibration. So then we had to put it back into calibration. So this is the issue. If your console won't turn off, this is the fault, how to fix it. Thanks, guys.